For this video, I'll be showing you how to check things in an array, how you can find items quickly, as well as tips and tricks to go about it in a much better way. Verifying and finding things in an array should be much simpler after this. Let's get to it. You must know by now that to get any item in an array, you just need to know their index. But you will come across a situation where you don't know where the item is, therefore you can't get it. Arrays come with the method index of, which allows you to pass the item you want and it will tell you where it is in the array. Like you can see here with the array of numbers. There is a catch though. For this array of objects here, if I try the same thing, I get negative 1. Index of will return the index if it finds it otherwise negative one. So why did not work for object array? Well, the object I'm passing is different than the object I'm looking for. We can check this with the triple equal check here. They are both different instances with the same key and value. But if I have a reference to the object and provide it to the index of, it will return the index correctly. Note that index of will return the first match. If you want the last one, you can use the last index of instead. Both methods take the second parameter, which indicates where you need to start search from. So I can specify here to start looking from the middle and it will find them. Although this is useful, most of the time you will not be interested in the index. You may just want to know if the array contains the item and for that you can use the includes method, which takes same parameters and return true or false. What if you want the item itself if it's an array? For that, you can use the find method. It takes a function as first parameter, which is called with the item, the index, and the list, and you must return true or false whether it is your item or not. So for our object example, I can call find and inside return if n is equal to two, and it finds it. The find method will quit as soon as it finds the first match and returns it. Otherwise, it will return undefined if no match. There's also the find index, which returns the index of the found item or undefined if not. What if I want to get all the matching items? There is a filter method, which works the same way as find and find index as far as parameters and it will return a new array containing all the items that matched the condition. The array will be empty if no matches were found. There's also cases where you want to know if all the items meet a certain condition. For example, I have this object array with selected flags and I want to know if all items in this array are selected. I can use the every method which returns true or false and works the same way as filter and find as far as parameters. Inside I check if selected is true and it returns true because all items selected flag is true. If I change one item to be selected false, I get false. The every method will quit as soon as one of the condition is false. I can show you by logging the index inside to see where it stopped. If I want to know if at least one item is false, I can use the sum method, which will quit as soon as the condition is true. Getting confused? Let me explain better. The every method will return true if all the items of the array meet the condition, otherwise quit on the first one that does not. The sum method will return true if at least one item meets the condition and quits. Because of the way sum works, you may find developers using it instead of for each so they can quit early. Like in this example, I sum every even numbers, ignoring the odd ones, but if any number is negative, I would just quit. Okay now, I'm gonna let you practice with your nearly learned methods and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.